Hey everyone, we are continuing our conversation of altered pentatonics and this is part three of the series. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand our vocabulary routine to include one more altered pentatonic. And then we're going to look at application of minor seven, flat five pentatonic. I often call it half diminished. So if I do that, you know what I'm talking about. And finally, I'm gonna show you a pattern that kind of helps you hear it and a way to apply it to uh, a minor blues context. So vocabulary, same concept we've been using, uh, uh, comparing everything to a minor seven pentatonic. So minor seven pentatonic is one, flat three, four, five, flat seven. So you wanna see that in your mind first. So in the key of D, that would be D, F, G, A, C. And remember when we did minor six pentatonic, we just took the flat seven, turned it into a six. Right, so the C became a B. So today we're gonna do minor seven flat five pentatonic. So it's the minor seven pentatonic and we flat the fifth, right? So uh, if you just take your time and see it, so in the key of D, it'll be D, F, G, A flat is the flatted fifth, C, D, right? So in, here it sounds. And that's it. Uh, what I would do is I would just play all three of the ones we've done so far in, in the same key, like in the key of D, play minor seven, minor six, half diminished, just like this. Here's D minor seven. D minor six. D half diminished. Then I'd go to the next key in the circle, which would be G, minor seven. Minor six. Minor seven flat five. And just work your way around the circle of keys, which, which is going to allow you to see how these are built and how they relate to one another and start to get you to hear it. And a really great idea would be to sing them after you hear what they sound like, right? That would be really, really great. So now let's move on to applying this particular pentatonic to a minor blues, right? So, oh, there it is. Here it comes. All right, so, so far, just a quick review. We were, all of these minor pentatonics or all these altered pentatonics come from ascending melodic minor. So we took a minor blues and we applied ascending melodic minor to it, saying that over all the Ds, we're gonna play D ascending melodic minor. Over the four chord, which is the G minor, we'll play G ascending melodic minor. Uh, over the half diminished chord, we're gonna play G ascending melodic minor because over half diminished, you can build ascending melodic minor off of the flat three. So in E half diminished, the flat three is a G. So this is gonna be G ascending melodic minor. Then over the A7 altered chord, we're playing B flat ascending melodic minor. So over altered, there's really two ways to think about it. You can build ascending melodic minor off the flat two. So A, B, B flat is the flat two. So it'd be B flat ascending melodic minor. Or you could just think about it as building a ascending melodic minor a half step up, right? Which A half step up is B flat. Doesn't matter how you think about it. So we're playing B flat ascending melodic minor here. Well, if we're going to use uh, D minor seven flat five pentatonic, we're going to build that pentatonic off of the six. So here's a D uh, ascending melodic minor scale. D, E, F, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And if we look at the notes in a B minor seven flat five pentatonic, it's B, D, E, F, A, B. They are all notes of ascending melodic minor. So let's look at G. So the, the G, the sixth, is E. So that minor pentatonic is going to be E, G, A, B flat, D, E. Right? And then finally, the B flat. The sixth of B flat is a G. So it's going to be G minor seven flat five pentatonic. So it is G, B flat. C, D flat, F, G. And you can see all of those notes are inside of B flat ascending melodic minor. So that's how we're going to apply it. So let's just move on to the pattern that we're gonna play. So we've been playing this pattern. 
So that's D minor 6. I go up to the root and drop to the 6, which is the color tone, which is the note that we're altering, right? So this time, we'll do exactly the same thing. So I'll play B minor 7 flat 5 pentatonic. I'll play B to B, and then I'll drop to the flat 5, which is the F. It's a really kind of cool sounding pattern, and it lets you hear where that flat 5 is and makes you think about the flat 5 two times, which is really good. So if we did it in... Uh, the E, so over top of the G, when we go to E minor 7 flat 5 pentatonic, you play E to E and drop to the B flat. And that interval is a tritone, or a sharp 4. And finally, when we get to the A7 altered, uh, we're playing G minor 7 flat 5 pentatonic, so we'll play G to G and drop to the D flat. Right? Uh, so, so when we practice, I would play the pattern, and this time I'm just going to, I'll play the pattern the first time through, and then I'll solo using minor 7 flat 5 pentatonics the second time through, and this is what I would do. <laughs> really nice sound and uh, I would just take my time with the pattern to make sure you can really clearly hear it without having a lot of mental stumbles and then just improvise until it starts to lock up so if you wanted to look at the whole plan for you know a good way to practice this I would probably set my I probably set this up for six choruses right and then the first chorus uh, play the pattern off the one and then improvise using the scale off the one, then uh, play the pattern off the two, improvise with the pattern off the two, then play the pattern off the six, improvise with the pattern off the six. And we'll just keep doing this until we get all five of the altered pentatonics in the game. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. See you tomorrow.